Hey guys, Alex here with UK and Drew webcast number 32 for our week beginning October 28th, 2013. So first up last week's releases we had Dragon Ball Z Series 9, Fulu Kulu the Complete Series Collection, Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere the Complete Series 2, Maru Penguin Drum Box 2, Summer Wars Volume 1, Black Beard Volume 17, Bleach Volume 58, Claymore Volume 23, Fullmetal Alchemist 3 in 1 Edition Volume 6, Meiji Volume 2, thanks to the guy in the previous episode telling me how to pronounce it in the comments, Missions of Love Volume 5, Number 6 Volume 3, Nora Rise of the Yokai Clan Volume 17, One Piece 3 in 1 Edition Volume 7, Rosaria Vampire Season 2 Volume 12, Toriko Volume 18 and Wolfsman Volume 2. And this week, on Monday the 28th of October, we have Bleach Series 12 Part 1, Zanpacto, the alternate, or Zanpacto arc as I know it. This is on DVD and has episodes 230 to 241. Heaven's Memo Pad, the complete series collection, this is on DVD and has all 12 episodes of the series. And k the movie, this is on Blu-ray and DVD and it is the full feature length film and the Blu-ray version is a double play edition. And on Tuesday the 29th of October we have Black Butler Volume 15, Higurashi When They Cry, Festival Accompanying Arc Volume 2, Inu X Boku SS Volume 1, Is This a Zombie Volume 6, k High School, No Matter How I Look At It It's You Guys Fault I'm Not Popular Volume 1, Pandora Hearts Volume 18, Puella Magi Oriko Magica Volume 2, Shiro Amano The Artwork of Kingdom Hearts, Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumaya Volume 16, and Triage X Volume 4, and for Thursday the 31st of October we have Fairy Tale Volume 31, and Friday the 1st of November, Alice in the Country of Joker, Circus and the Liars Game Volume 3, and Hannah Guy I Don't Have Many Friends Volume 4, and finally World War Blue Volume 1 and Volume 2. So for the news, a little bit late to the party, but Kyoso Giga has been added to the Crunchyroll Fall 2013 series list. We have all four episodes of the series that's out, it starts at episode 0, so yeah, four episodes, and it airs on Sundays at 5pm. Anime Limited's release of the Blu-ray DVD combi pack of Pedic Blue has been delayed until November 18th due to a packaging error, but the DVD release is still going to be sent out on the 20th of October. Sony's anime SWOD service, Animax, is now up as of last Friday, and you can get a two-week trial and a month subscription for $5.99. There's quite a lot of series and films up there, so I'm not going to list them all and name them all because it's going to take me even longer than this episode already is. They also have three of the fall series up for free, and these are Beyond the Boundary, which is one of my favourites of this season, Copalion, and Meiji Season 2. Viewster.com, which is a free online streaming service, has added some Funimation titles to their service, and these are Armitage 3, Dancing the Vampire Burn, Dead Man Wonderland, El Cazador de la Bruja, Fuli Cooley, Girls Bravo, Helsing, Is This a Zombie, Orion High School Host Club, Shuffle and Shrite which is season 2, not the first season apparently. But there are quite a few titles which are only available in the US still but this could change in a couple of weeks time. A new Kickstarter for a Bubblegum Crisis Ultimate Edition Blu-ray set has started a few days ago and they only need another $15,000 to hit their goal of $75,000. This series was created over 20 years ago and it's an 8 episode OVA series which was created by Who's Who of the anime world. It seems like a pretty cool anime going from the video that they have on the Kickstarter page and they have quite a lot of pretty cool backer tiers as well but a lot of the early backer tiers have already gone because it seems quite popular. Uh, there's a link in the description below to, for more information on it. And London Comic Con was going on over Saturday, Sunday and today and here's a rundown of what got announced. For Manga Entertainment we have Dragon Ball GT, this will be released in two volumes next year, arriving in January and March. Naruto Shippuden Movie 4, The Lost Tower, will be released in February 2014 in a DVD and a DVD Blu-ray combo pack. Psycho Pass will be released in two volumes on both DVD and Blu-ray, with the company hoping to bring them out in next spring, well the first volume in next spring. This is a great series if you haven't watched it and I will definitely be buying them. HK Forbidden Superhero, this live action film also known as Hentai Carmen, will be screened theatrically next month at film festivals in Leeds and Cardiff prior to a wider theatrical run. There is no news on a th physical release at this time but it's pretty much guaranteed I guess. Evangelion 3.33 You Cannot Redo will be released on DVD and Blu-ray in late March of next year, 2014. And NBM Entertainment have got Dusk Maiden of Amnesia, Infinite Stratos Season 1 and Night Raid 1931. These are hoping to be released in the first quarter of next year. And also announced, but we've not released it as of yet, we have Series 3 and 4 of Iki Tosen, bringing The Great Guardians and Extreme Excuter. We also have Batum, Campion, From the New World, also known as Shinseki Yori, Girls and Panzer, 
I think them four series are from Crunchyroll, no Batum, Campion, and from the New World is them. The Tomb's a great series, um, which should be getting a new series, well it needs another series really, the manga is still ongoing and the anime is pretty good. From the New World is also a really good anime if you haven't watched that. It's quite dark and it's set in the like distant future. We also have the first three seasons of Familiar of Zero, and also we have all three series and the other year of the Otomo game Hakuoki. Anime Limited didn't have any new licenses to announce, but the company president did mention that somebody had the license for Studio Witch short film HAL. Right, so for the game news, there's a patch out for Pokemon X and Y which fixes the game breaking bug. Um, this solves a problem and even if you was affected by it and you was waiting for the patch to come out so you don't actually have to restart. The QR codes are around there somewhere. Um, just obviously scan it with your 3DS or just go to the eShop on the 3DS main menu. Tales of Symphonia Chronicles is slated for February 28th release over here in EU with next year, 2014. And this has both of the Tales of Symphonia games in it and Dawn of the New World. There will also be a collect edition which includes an original novel of a previously unreleased story translated into English, a set of five miniature figures and two soundtrack CDs. All this will be enclosed within a box supporting artwork created by animation studio Ufotable. Ufotable, yeah, I think I call that right. Mugatel Z is coming to Europe in 2014 and the game will be released in both physical and digital forms for the consoles. Although it has been noted that this Western release will be edited due to the sensitive nature of some of the content. And on that note, that's it for this week's episode guys, thank you for watching. All the links are in the description below and leave a comment in the comment section telling us what you thought of the episode and what I could do to make it better if there's something wrong with it and the series as a whole. Leave a like, favourite or subscribe if you want to keep up to date every week on the new releases of anime and manga and the news in general over the previous week. And I will be bringing out a Pokemon card opening video within the next couple of days. Hopefully the cards will get here tomorrow or the day after. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And I will update you again next week, guys. Bye.